Hello everybody, today in this video we are going to learn Elysia.js which is 21x faster than Express.js. If you don't know what is Elysia, it is a burn framework and burn JS is like alternative of Node.js but burn JS is a very fast lightweight uh, so you can build your REST API very easily and uh, if you take a look here the comparison between uh, express.js and elysia or any other framework you'll be wonder how much fast elysia so now we are deep dive into elysia.js in order to start our project we have to write burn create an elysia and the app name which will be burn api just like this and hit enter it will create our app soon after install our project if we go burn api folder inside this folder you if you go over src folder and uh, index.ts file and if you take a look index.ts file there is a elysia who is coming from elysia.js and here they use get method so it is basically a starter you can start this way and yeah they use method chaining as you can see get and listen 3000 so you can listen whatever port you want just like express this and inside this get burn api and then we can say burn dev and just give a refresh hello elysia if you want to add another get request for example you would like to get data according to the id then you will get it as well so what you have to do you have to add another method chaining they recommend use to method chaining and we can use so let's add a path uh, we can define here our path so let's say our path which will be user and uh, uh, after that we can add a callback function so just like this and which will return an id so inside this callback function we can define our params so params and just like this and params which will be id so whatever you want for example you want to put in here, here user id then you have to add here user id or you will get an typescript error and yeah that's it so if you just go to browser and say user and something like that and you will get it like no found so why it says no found because user id user and basically you have to say here user id just like this and then you will get something like this 555 it is working and also if you typing here letter whatever you type in this url you will get it here but it is not right right so we have to validate only if we just type here number something like that then it will be workable otherwise we'll get an error so how we can validate uh, we can validate very easy way in elysia uh, you, you just need to add a schema validator which is coming from elysia just t add here t and inside this user id here you can say for example what you want to validate params we would like to validate params so add here params and then say here t dot object just like this and we can add in here object so what object we'd like to validate we would like to validate user id and so let's say user id which will be t dot numeric so you can add numeric uh, this way this parameter or this url will be validated so let's go to the site once again give a refresh it is working 
if we type in here something else and hit enter as you can see we get validation error so what we exactly wanted so we can validate our endpoint easy way in elysia so it's a building method in elysia also we can add a swagger documentation very easily with a plugin just one installation we just need to add burn add elysia js swagger after install these packages what you have to do you just need to get import uh what we have to import we have to import swagger and which will be coming from swagger just like this but uh, before we have to say elysia js oops and now we have to use swagger uh, use is a function and inside this function let's add uh, swagger and as you can see so if we just uh, add barn dev then you can see here so it is giving error so now as you can see hello elysia so it is working what we have to go we just need to go a uh, in point who is called swagger and hit enter as you can see nothing is found because as you can see here is our building open api swagger documentation api documentation here is user id user and this way you can you can send request and you can test cookies header everything you will get in building and also there is an option who is called drag mode and light mode so you don't need to add anything you just need to add only one line code so which is swagger and install one package at elysia.js and add swagger in this app and you will get building everything get trigger so if you add here so as you can see here is a to get method because we have added here to so if we are in any post method for example post method then it will be there on post as well as you can see this is a post method all right everyone so far we have done our swagger documentation now we are going to create our rest api in point in order to create our rest api in point we have created a file which is called db.ts inside this file i have added some dummy post uh, as you can see you can add by yourself i hope you can do this thing or i'll give the github link you can find the starting point all right now we are going to use this um all post as our database so we are not going to use any database so we are going to use only json okay so now how we can get all post so in order to get all post uh, let's create a handler which will handle all requests so we can create a handler inside this handler file we are going to create our function like get post delete first of all what we have to do we have to get all post here inside this so let's get it all post from db and then we can say get post so first of all it's going to be export function get post and this is going to be a function and inside this function we are going to use tycast block and what we can say for example we can add e and inside this tycast uh, e let's add error so we can say console and e which will be type we can say unknown since we are using typescript and inside this tie block we are return something so it will be a callback function and let's say 
all posts so it says uh, we have to say this is going to be a async function now everything is good and we can say get all posts and inside this handle index.js what we can say we just call this function and let's get this function from handlers just like this and what you have to do you just need to install a package which is called thunder client as you can see thunder client and after install thunder client you will get here thunder client and just click here thunder client and you can create new request and if you have already or you just as you can see 300 if i send request uh, i'm getting a uh, result status is 200 which means i'm getting result we have done all post in point now we have to get post by id to do that what we have to do export async function get post just like this and inside this function for example what we can say let's use tycast block and error console dot error getting error just like this and we can call here for example error and error which will be let's say const i'm going to use here for example items uh, for to do that uh, all post and then we are going to use find method this all post coming from inside this db guys and find inside this find method what we have to do we have to add i for example and then add callback function just like this item dot id so it's gonna be i dot id and it says id we can define here the id so id which will be number we can say and then finally we can return something which is item okay it's not going to be i dot id just id and then it will be workable and so for done let's go to index dot tx file inside this file let's get this in point for example we are just copy and paste and this going to be post route and it will get dynamic id just like this and inside this function it will get post which will be coming from handlers and it says but zero argument so we have to pass here id just like this and but we are cannot find the name id what we have to say we have to add params and then we have to add id but agreement of type string is not assignable to the parameter of type number so this id getting as a string but we define inside this handler as a number what we have to do we have to just convert this string in number to do that what we have to do just add params and inside this params let's add the validation since we are using elysia we have to add t for validation t dot object and we can do the validation this way id and then we can add t dot numeric just add numeric and there we go we have done our validation let's check inside the thunder client for example uh, inside 3000 yeah it's getting and uh, let's add slash post and id2 and send request as you can see we are getting id2 id3 and send request fast post 
Okay. ID one, ID five, but somehow it is not getting the ID. Oh, oops. Here it's added auto. Now let's go ahead and check. Now post five does not exist. Let's add post two. Post two is here. So this is my second post, and post three, and also. This is my second post, uh, third post, which means it is working successfully. We have created two in point get all post, get post by ID. Now we are create our post uh, in order to complete our crude operation. To do that, what we have to do first of all, we have to take a function. For example, we can take a async uh, function and create post just like this and uh, inside this function let's use type class block and just like this and create since we are creating post what we ha have to create we have to create if we just take a look inside this db file title and content and id to do that what we have to do uh, we just need to pass in here option and inside this option for example i can pass here title and which will be a string and also i can pass here content it's giving auto suggestion and this is going to be string and inside this tiger's block basically we can do this structuring for example title content from after that we can create our new id in order to create a new id for example we can say new id and to create new id what we have to use uh, we have to use uh, math uh, dot max in javascript function and inside this function we have to get all post initially uh, all post and then we can use uh, map and then post dot id just like this uh, after words so what we can do uh, we can just add plus so initially we get all post uh, uh, and then whenever we add this new id if there is a post number six then the id will be new id post seven since we are adding here plus one so that's the simple logic and then what we can do here for example we can add cons uh, await for example new post and then we can say await and afterwards id which will be new id and just like this and then finally we can just push this new post to old array so uh, all post dot push new post and console dot log we can just say new post created okay so simple and inside this case uh, you can add console dot error just like this and we can use this create post function inside this index dot ts file for example this is going to be a post request and this is our path and after the path we can use callback function and um, let's say Uh, this is going to be create post which will be coming from handler and the most important thing which is inside 
create post okay so inside this create post guys what you can do uh, if you just pass in here um, body they will just uh, do automatically since you are just passing here option title and content you don't need to pass title and content you just need to pass in here body just it so if you just hover over so you will see uh, body argument type is unknown so we have to validate in order to validate basically we can use params and uh, which will be t dot objects uh, and uh, inside this t dot object uh, we can pass in here let's say title and title which will be t dot string and inside this string you can do like max length for example we can initially add me minimum length for example three and then we can add max length for example 50 and we can do same thing for content instead of title there will be content and this is going to be and uh, yeah create post body handle and uh, create post what is the error body type is unknown this is not going to be params this is going to be body so now our error is gone and you can check using postman you have to download postman after download you will get this you'll get this interface and uh, you just create new one http and just like this and you can put in here local host 3000 just like this for example if you want to get post that send request you will get uh, four posts as you can see so if you want to create post so our post route has been done as you can see our post route has been done so we can easily create so to create post send post request change the request method here it should be post as you can see it's going to be 3000 and go to body and here json and row you can select here row and you can select here json and you can pass in here this is my final post for example post and this is my final post testing and if you just uh, send a request and if you send once again get request you will get five posts this is my final post and here is my post testing since we have inside this db four posts so here is added five number five so it will add you in your in memory so you can see this post in this because we are not using any database all right if we create another for example 444 and 444 just send the post request and there we go send get request and we have get here now we are going to update our post in order to update our post basically what we have to do uh, create post uh, this will be and inside this update post uh, let's paste this function and here we can just say update post and inside this option it will be same but here will be add one thing which is id and uh, that going to be a number just like this uh, type as block title content which will coming from option this is going to be same we don't need to generate new id and we don't need to pass new post right uh, instead what we have to do uh, we just uh, need to get all post okay in order to get all post for example we can say const 
item and then we can use a weight and for example all post dot find inside this find method this is a callback function since this is a callback function we can say post dot id equal uh, equal equal id and this id we will pass this id inside this according to id basically we'll update our post we don't want to update any post so for example if you want to update six number post then you have to get the six number id we have to pass the six number id and then the six number post will be updated so and then we get item and uh, for example we can check the item validation so if there is item is a if not item then we can throw an error so throw new error so new error is a function guys so what we have to do is just we can pass in here some message for example no post or whatever no post to update uh, after that if we can check title uh this title we're going to use if title uh is not equal equal undefined if title is not undefined then we'll update the title for example item dot title and then title and similar check we can do for content if content is not undefined we can just update the and uh, after giving update we can finally return the item all right and then finally we we can return some error for example error get instance of error and you're updating new post and this way you can uh, update your console in order to get rid of the issues so let's go ahead and try to check for example inside this postman i'm going to use put put method but before adding put method what we have to do we just need to add here put in point this is going to be api and then we can pass here function so update post and inside this up inside this put method we can pass here so params which will be let's say id and also body we are passing here params and inside this params passing id and body and uh, yeah and then we can pass here we can pass in here id and body so that's it so if you take a look here there there is an issue of typing we can do the validation so let's do the validation initially we are validated this id so this id will get from params that is why we have to use params and then we can say for t dot object and then inside this object uh, we can pass in here id and i id going to be string oops so s going to be capital since we are using validation and afterwards uh, what we can use we can use body for example body t dot object similar oa what we have done already in post request here we can just copy this is going to be numeric guys and done and we can do something optional for example added here option object t dot object and 
title t dot string instead of string or something we had added here optional and uh, since everything is optional we have added here minimum properties which will be one and this way we can validate our input still we are finding any issue uh, since we are passing here optional we have to also pass uh, inside this handler uh, title which will be optional and content which will be optional for updating post and now all error is gone uh, we can check uh, our postman so we can send request for example put request and inside this put request uh, we can add 4 4 and uh, let's just remove this is my this is my updating post and this is my post updating and send uh, we have to send request for example post and which id we can send request for example id 5 and send request uh error misses no post to update mm, for number five post does not exist for example number two and there you go this is my updating post so if we want to get all post uh for example get all post no passing one two so this is my updating post so post two has been updated so if you take a look the result so which means our post updating also working now we are working for delete post uh, in order to work let's take a function and this function will be async post delete post and inside this delete post for example let's take an id and uh, id which will be a number will get id as a parameter and let's take post post index and uh, we can see a uh, wait and all post this is going to be fine index and just like this guys so this is a callback function instead of id we can use post id for example post id and you can pass in here post id as simple as we expected as simple as that const mm, oops delete post and you can say all post which will be splice for example splice method in javascript uh, this is going to be a function inside this splice method so post index and and the number one will be removed every time and after that we can just return delete post function and you can add the validation guys and let's check whether it's working or not to do that let's go postman get method we'll get all post uh, okay our server is not running oh but running at undefined oh so we remove as you can see our server is running and let's go check so send request as you can see we get all post all four posts so now we are going to remove in order to remove let's add delete and remove post and then id number two and method delete and no found uh basically we have to use here um, delete post so we are using id and this is going to be post id we are passing here post id and yeah and this post id which will be as a params um, like this type id so here post id okay which means this is going to be post id and now it is exist 
let's go ahead and trying to send request so post number for example two which will be remove as you can see so post to remove so if i add post three post three which will be remove as well and in order to check whether this remove or not we send request once again get and uh, one and four or two posts has been removed that means our function is totally working basically guys you can add in here for example take us block inside this uh take us block and you can put this code here if anything goes well then we generate if wrong then we can add in here 